We've got something going here with Reese Sodell from Columbia, South Carolina. He's won 64,000, cruised right through them, got up to 125,000. That's where we are now. Four questions away from winning $1 million, and all of his lifelines are still here. Sensational. We haven't had a big million dollar winner here since last summer. I figured it was about time. That's right. The whole group, the whole group and was talking. And why about not you? Why not me? Our whole group talked about it. Absolutely. Well, this is, um, you've been up to New York a couple of times, once yes. because of uh, trivia as well, right? That's right, back in high school. The, uh, my high school quiz bowl team won a competition in, in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we were, the prize was to come here uh -huh. for three or four days. And that was my first trip to New York, uh, first time on a plane, back being 17, 18 years old, and uh, it was quite an eye-opener. And now at the age of 35, you're back, again, because essentially of trivia. Yes. Good for you. Now, how are you feeling now, Suzanne? I'm okay. <laughs> Suzanne's okay. She's okay. If you win this money, what will you do? Well, we're going to, it's going to be a real good security blanket. Hopefully, uh, retire quite a few years earlier than originally planned. And then uh, many things with the, uh, the new child will uh, also uh, come into play. I'm sure a larger car, improvements to the house, and so forth. You've got a lot of ways to spend this money, though. Sure. Yeah. It won't be difficult. It won't be difficult at all. Well, I think you're doing just uh, terrific. Uh, let's do it for the Gamecocks. Let's do it for Lou. He's watching over you right now, okay? Thank you. Ready to go for $125,000, Reese. Let's play. <laughs> what poisonous element used to make felt hats most likely led to the phrase mad as a hatter? Arsenic, barium, mercury, lead. This is the brick wall question that you fear. Well, yeah, now they're going to get tougher. But you still have the lifelines. I'm going to poll the audience. You want to poll the audience on yes. this one? Okay, audience, Reese needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, you see, maybe th this question might have been best asked a uh, teacher, somebody who would know this, uh, in this particular... Well, I'm trying to... That's not out of the question yet. It's split up here, as you can see. It's arsenic 31%, mercury 30%, lead 30%. You have any of your Mensa friends on uh, your two. phone list? Two of them. Good. use the 50-50, please. Want to narrow it down by two? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please. Mercury or lead? What are your thoughts, Reese? What were the audience percentages on those two? Well, 30% uh, for each. I knew there was one they had. There was one they didn't like. The very first one got 31%. Barry got I think I have a, uh, a phone a friend that in would the know science this. area. I do, but uh, she's quite young, and I don't know if that would even go. If she would be able to go back far enough to mm -hmm. to know that. Uh, mm -hmm. You lose thirty-two thousand if right. uh, you miss here. Had a terrific run. It just takes one though to uh, absolutely bring you down. I am not an expert on either one of these substances, but it seems to me that mercury can soak through. I don't know if lead can or not, but I've heard of mercury poisoning, poisoning just from contact with the skin. I know you can touch lead without, well, I don't know that you can touch lead, but I believe you can. I think I'm going to say C, mercury. Okay, final answer. 
Final answer. Just won $125,000. Whoa. Haven't had a millionaire here in the last 50 shows. We're all very excited. Still one lifeline. Still can phone somebody. We're going for $250,000 ratio. Three away from a million. Okay? okay? Here it is for a quarter million dollars. During World War II, what Native American language was used as a secret code by the U.S. Army and the Marine Corps? Apache? Cherokee, Blackfoot, Navajo. This is real easy. I'd like to call Dave Hodgson. What does Dave do? He's a history professor. Dave's our man. We need Dave, at and Oh. Professor Hodgson? Yes, sir. Uh, hi, Regis Philbin here, calling from uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's wonderful. Here I am waiting for your question. OK. Let's hope you can help because your man is going for a quarter million dollars. Wow. And he can only get there if you have the right answer. I'll sure do my best. I'm sure you will, Professor. All right, Reese, it's all yours. You've got 30 seconds. Here come the, uh, the question and the four possible answers, Professor. 30 seconds starting now. Dave, during World War II, what Native American language was used as a secret code by the U.S. Army and Marine Corps? Navajo. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is 250,000. You're sure? Yes, sir. Ask okay. him about a diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Professor. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Okay. Boy, that's a great guy to have in your hip pocket or in your phone. That's I'll nice. That. That's nice. So what do you think? I'm going with him. He seemed awfully confident. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, the professor is right. <laughs> Navajo language was not in print at the time, so no one could uh, decode it. All right, so here we, here's where we stand. All the lifelines are gone. Two questions away from a million. Going for $500,000 should you miss, Reese, you'll lose $218,000. But take a look at it now for a half million dollars. In 1986, what artist painted a section of the Berlin Wall? Julian Schnabel, Keith Haring. Jean-Michel Basquiat, Robert Longo. It's great that you made it real easy for me. Uh -oh. I, have, I have no idea. But a walk away with 250,000. Absolutely. Why don't we take a guess just for the heck of it? I couldn't even guess. I would say Basquiat, maybe. Basquiat? No, the correct answer was Keith Haring, but hey, $250,000. Man, I love it. There you go. That's terrific. Spend it well, okay? Thank Good you. luck to the game box. All right. Well, the way he sailed through the first ten questions, we really thought he was going to go all the way. This is the longest we've ever gone without making a millionaire. But now we have nine contestants all trying to break that streak, and it all starts with the next fastest finger question. Put these movies in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the most recent. Turner and Hooch, Stuart Little, Benji, Air Bud. Okay, we're all set here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent film. Stuart Little, then Air Bud, Turner and Hooch, and finally Benji, who got it right in the fastest time, and the winner is Ben Congratulations! Hey, the girl, good for you. Lynn Goldwyn, she wants to be a millionaire too. We'll be right back.